what did I get today? This is what I got today. Uh, Saturday, $93 in spending by me. Uh, I'm going to break this up into a couple different videos just to make it easier. The weather is crap uh, today, and it might be crap tomorrow. I may or may not be going to a flea market. If I do go, I'll be at Carney, um, the JC Promotion flea market. Anyway, back to this. going to break it up into sections. Um, I'm going to start with, with this random. So I didn't get any video games today, but I got these. Uh, check this out. Now, I have an assortment of, of different ones. This one says basketball, but look at this. Game Kid. It's like a total ripoff. And I think it's from the 90s. But it's a t obviously, it's a total ripoff of a Game Boy. Um, the original Game Boy. And this would be the kind of thing that, like, when I was a kid, I'd be like, Hey, Mom, can, can you buy me a Game Boy? And my mom would be like, Are you crazy? <laughs> Game Boys are really insanely expensive. But I'm like, But all my friends have Game Boys. I want to have a Game Boy. And they go, Here. Right? We go into the store and go, Here. I'll buy you this. Because this is probably like, three, it was $3 or $5 at the time. She goes, Here. And I'll be like, but mom, it only has one game and it's basketball and I hate basketball. And she's like, that's it. That's all you're getting. And I'd be stuck with this. But here, Game Kid. I bought it because it's, it's, it's a cool novelty and it's a total ripoff of a Game Boy. Uh, another basketball. Spacer. Oh, it's Space Rescue. It's like one word, but it looked like Spacer SQ. <laughs> uh, whatever. These are those LCD games that everybody had in the 90s. Another basketball. So I'm good on basketball. Another Spacer Rescue. Challenger. And Submarine. On the back of this, there's a variety of them. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. I couldn't make it to 12. It even does them. Whatever. Um, there's 11 different ones, and I happen to have four of them. Do I have the best games? Car Racing, Motorcycle, Invader. Invader might have been good. Painter Smart Baby. Hmm. No, I don't. Actually, the only one they have here is basketball. Whatever. Um, it, it, it reminds me of Eddie Murphy with the, like, Mom, can we go to McDonald's bit? Uh, oh, no, let me do these first. Then I got these. And again, I think these are from the 90s. I bought them from a guy who had a store. So basically, I paid 25 for all of these. There's 15 here, so you break it down. You do the math. It's less than a dollar a piece. It's probably like a dollar sixty-six or something like that a piece. Uh, a roulette. Sometimes these sell on eBay for good money, especially when they're mint, complete in a package. Another roulette. Another roulette. Another roulette. Another roulette. And another roulette. But that's fine. I got these. These are pretty cool. And these were made. Um, these are Looney Tunes Tronics. And these were made by Toshiba. And it's got Bugs Bunny right on the cover. So this is probably the most valuable out of all of these. Um, that's for novelty's sake. If these don't sell, if these sell for like $20 solid on, uh, or more on eBay, I might give them to you, Daryl. Haven't decided yet. We're going to see. And, and then I got two of these Toshibas, uh, whatever. Since I'm doing toys... No, you know, let me do the DVDs and then I'll bag this stuff up. Um, DVDs and CDs. Then I'll do those plushies because I need room for that. I don't even know why I got this. Who is this? Jars of Clay. See a limited edition. Probably not even worth that much. Finding Nemo. The Doors. Collection. You know what, Now I'm just going to put this to the side in case you want it. Uh, Harry Potter. Goblet of Fire. Order of Phoenix. Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, complete. First series, Walking Dead. I mean, it's on Netflix, so it's probably going to be a hard sell, but who cares? Juicing. Hmm. So if you like to drink juice. Then I got some CDs. Toto. Anybody remember Millie Vanilli? Girl, you know it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need you and Bananarama. Uh, skill. <sighs> I combined scotch and sealed. Uh, sealed scotch cassettes. I think it was like 50 cents, some dumb price. Maybe it was a dollar. That beats me. Um, more DVDs. Rugrats, the movie. Rugrats Go Wild. Megamind. And The Fifth Element. Alright, I'm going to stop here and I'll continue on. Alright, this is going to be the update on that necklace that we, we just like the way it looks. It's unmarked uh, in any way. We're hoping that it's gold. If it's gold, it's a lot of money. 
If it's not, it's not a lot of money. Um, we only paid three bucks for it, so it doesn't matter either way. But I'm going to the Gold Lady now. I'm going to check it. And if it's good, it's good. Uh, I'll let you know in a couple of seconds. Okay, here's the report on that chain. <laughs> His magnet must be stronger than mine because it ever so slightly... And he had, I mean, my mag, this is my magnet, but his magnet is like twice the size. It's this, these are super magnets. I can't even pry this from this other magnet. They look like this. They're really, really powerful. So his magnet is about twice the size of mine. He put it to it and it just ever so slightly kind of, see, for me, it's not even doing it. Oh, wait a minute. So anyway, he did test it with acid. He said, ah, maybe it's silver. Nothing. Because <laughs> as soon as he oh, scraped... Oh, it's not silver either. Nothing. So, there you go, everybody. <laughs> yeah. It's worth more than $3, at, at least, yeah. which is what we paid for it. All right, here's the jewelry. I think I'm going to bust this up into two parts and then piece it together at the end so it will just seem as one seamlessly flowing bit of video for you uh, when you get to watch it. But for me, it comes in pieces. Anyway, this was five dollars for all of these and that was five dollars for that so I'm gonna do show this first then I'll show that and then I'll, I'll probably I need to sort that so I'll just make some room and then sort it that way uh, I don't know what Marie paid for this but this appears to be some kind of uh, I'm sure it wasn't expensive we spent like yeah it's like earrings and a necklace and it looks like it could be freshwater pearls or faux pearls or whatever don't know but it's a nice set you know here let me show it yeah comes in this beautiful presentation box joke um, these are um, they're from England and they're basically what do they call them they're just they're they're like a, a ceramic they're enamel earrings let me put on my really strong glasses because it says something right on the key Ugh, those aren't my really strong ones okay these are my really strong glasses these are like 2.5 I can see freaking like uh, atoms with these on the atomic level. Okay, they're like bone. They're bone china ear, uh, earrings. This one has a little nick, but this set should be worth like, I don't know, 15, 20 on eBay. Same for this. Uh, Art Art One England. Don't know, but look, originally $9 I had it, or two for whatever, 10 or something. I don't know, whatever the price was. And this one could be, this looks like bone or ivory. Don't know. And here's another one of these. We take these to flea market and they don't sell. I mean, they get these little, like here, here's one that just, this piece actually broke. So I'm going to have to put those in the bag carefully. Uh, they're so freaking fragile, you can't do anything with them, you know. So it's, I'm sure she's just going to stick them on eBay in a lot and get whatever she gets for it. She might get like 30 to $50, just flip it. Um, this one has a Denmark mark on the back and this is a ceramic. I can't really see, yeah, it just says Den. It's very faint. It might say, it might say like, it says Denmark. Uh, I don't know what else, you know, but they're ceramic. They're pretty neat. Um, this is purple. I mean, she paid like, I know she paid $3 for this. Everything else you could see she paid a dollar or whatever for. And this one's really nice. She's not going to get a lot of money for it at the flea markets we go to, but she should be able to get like, I don't know, 15, something like that. Um, let's see, rhinestones and uh, like a bar or anything yeah, else, crystals. Are. This looks like amber and that's an amber ring. All right, I'm going to just muscle through this and then I'll show that. Oh, this isn't gold, so um, that's we had tested. But uh, you'll see that in the video after this part and after this, that part, whatever. All right, you know what? Yeah, let me muscle through. Okay, so this box and this box were five each and it was actually two boxes it was this box and that box are five dollars so i paid ten for all this stuff is there anything really special here no not really but these are cool funky large enamel plastic uh gold tone earrings from like the 80s like see this this like look at these uh, just big plastic here's this one that's wood these were the only oldie oldie ones in there and they're rhinestones my wife could probably get like eight bucks uh, or six to ten alone for those these are plastic and it's the same for this big enamel chunky plastic uh, does my wife make a lot of money when she sells earrings like this no she sells them for like anywhere from one to three dollars and sometimes two dollars three for five not exciting but I have no clue what's in there so we're gonna find out next
you and us, you and me together, all at the same time. All right, here it is, mystery box of jewelry. I'm just gonna go through with you right now and see what is in here, if there's anything special. This was the box that was $5. So let's just look. This is good. This is actually what my wife saw straight off. Oops. All right, let me, you know what, let me, sh it's, I'm glad it fell out of the bag. These are glass. Look at that old clasp. All right. It's birds and flowers. And this should be Czechoslovakian stuff. So straight off, a winner. I, I, you know, if there's nothing else in this bag that's worth much or good for anything, this will this will take care of everything. People like honking. Probably because I'm bending over and my butt crack is showing. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Honk if you like butt cracks. Is, ask, honk if you like butt cracks. If you hear anybody honk, then they probably saw my butt crack. Anyway, um, yeah, this is good. This is a winner. I don't know what this is worth, but it's certainly worth way more than um, $5. I In my head, it's automatically worth like 35 to 50 Okay. Uh, I don't know. Just like Lisa Simpson kind of beads. Faux pearls. Here's a nice chunky... Bangle, nothing. This is nothing. Just some more big chunky earrings, silver tone. Kind of cool. Oh, you know what? It's earrings and a pin, and it's silver tone. It's not sterling. I keep thinking my phone's ringing. No, it's not. It's just vibrating in my pocket. Probably something's rubbing against it. And uh, this is nothing. Just big earrings. Should probably get a couple of bucks for those. More enamel, big earrings, couple of bucks. Big earrings. You know, there's probably like five to eight dollars in this bag. Um, okay, this is probably nothing. There's a very slim chance it's gold filled, but I don't know. It doesn't say anything. This doesn't look like silver. Oh, it's really soft. Okay, this could be silver. It's like super freaking soft, unless it's broken. Whatever. Okay, I'll put this in the better, maybe, pile, even though it's nonsense. Oh, uh, this is cool, but it looks like it's fall it's falling apart a little, where people just take jewelry and they, you know, so there. It's nothing. Okay, another bag of just assorted earrings. Well, a lot of cards have gone back by, and I, so far I hear any honking for my crack. This is just random, inexpensive jewelry. There's nothing special to show here. Okay, mostly earrings. What's this? There's some big, funky lucite. What is that? Is that? They're earrings. And then there's just some random earrings. So see this yellow one? See this green one? And this orange thing, that's probably the best thing in this bag. It might be a, a bracelet and earrings, but I'm not sure. Okay, but that's, that's nothing amazing. Here's an empty bag. This is nothing, nothing, nothing. This is what we'd call like $2 table fill. Okay, this unfortunately is not sterling this is silver plate this is like that Naco uh, you know what I could be wrong but I'm almost positive they they reproduce a lot of Mexican bracelets and they to make them cheap they make they silver plated them over copper so that's probably nothing special there some BS earrings let's see there's nothing amazing here so far what's this I don't know. Is that for hair? Okay, my wife likes cufflinks. So, there. There's a pair of cufflinks. These are nice ones. They're not sterling or anything, but uh, they're probably swank. What's it say? Swank. Alright. Uh, what's... Let me just... Nothing earrings. Nothing. Nice, but nothing. It's this. No, that's that's nice, but nothing. Earrings, just some plastic and enamel jewelry. 
This looks like a hair barrette. No, it's a pin. Sorry. Ouch. That's stabby earrings because they stabbed me in my finger. Uh. This looks like better stuff. But not. Oh. Okay. There's some silver in there. I'm going to open that up in a sec. Let me just keep going through. I already went through this. Okay, this is a fake turquoise pin. This looks like a, a rhinestone earring with a mate. Here's just a pin, a white pin. That's, uh, what's this one? This is a blue enamel rhinestone pin. This is a uh, tortoiseshell. Oh, what's that? Okay, I gotta look through this bag. BS earrings, I think. Yeah. More BS earrings. Uh, more BS earrings. This is just an enamel necklace. There's probably a, a, a pair of earrings that match that in there. Big plastic earrings. Big gold tone jewelry. Nothing too spooky. It's falling out. Nothing too special here. Okay, but five dollars. That's what we paid for all that. Isn't that insane? It would be nice if there was some gold in there. But so far, no. There's gold tone. Ugh. Uh, nothing plastic. This is fun and colorful, and I think it's it's wood, but nothing. What's this? This is, uh, yeah, if, when somebody tells you five bucks for a box of jewelry, you don't even look. I think these are silver, so I'll go through these bags in a second. Nothing. What's that? Outward bound. Nothing. And then, uh, this doesn't look like anything special. Just a bunch of gold tone earrings. What is... This is interesting. These might be gold. Okay, I'm gonna go through these other bags and then I'll sort out and see if there's anything amazing in these. All right, I've gone through everything and this is what I considered to possibly be the best of the best, except for this. Let's throw this in here. Okay, this will go here. Um, all right, here's a reason to have a really strong magnet with you because you can immediately find out when something is not gold. See those earrings? Are they gold? Hell no, they are not gold. They go over here. Look how strong this is. It, it's like I have to literally pry. It just, it wants to stick to this so badly. I literally have to pry it off of, it's, it was doing it through my finger. All right, I put it here because then I clip this onto my car and I could clip stuff onto it. Um, could that be gold? Nope. Uh, what about this? Is there a chance that this is gold? You know what? This doesn't go to a magnet. It doesn't look like gold, but I'm gonna put it to the side anyway. Um, these aren't gold or anything like that, but they're pretty and they're definitely old. So I'm gonna put those aside as nicer ones. This is a Trafari piece, and this, this I went through that box really fast. This is the best of the best from the box. Uh, it says Trafari right on the back. See, it's actually Crown Trafari, which is even better, and it's uh, looks to be some kind of a sweater clip or something. Beats me. But there it is. Um, all right, see this? This, I don't know. I don't, because of the way it's brass colored, that could be from like corrosion from people's skin. But I don't think it is. I think it's silver plate over uh, brass or copper. And it's not going to the magnet, so I'll just let Marie uh, play with it. This, I don't see a hallmark, but this really looks like silver to me. Um, and it doesn't go to the magnet. So th this is the best of the best so far. What do you, remember I said, oh, this this could be silver because it's so so soft. But nah, see? Not silver. Um, these are just cufflinks. I already said these were uh, swanky. Uh, all right, what about these earrings? These look good, right? But I checked them more carefully, right? And I looked for hallmarks of any kind, none. So let's try the magnet. And this is why you need a good magnet. That's obvious going to it. I could have sworn these went to the magnet. Wait a minute, what's that? Is that a word? Hold on. Let's try it over here. I 
I don't know. I'll let Marie test or check them. They could be silver. This is the most interesting pile. This, of course, is a sterling charm bracelet. You figure each charm is worth like maybe five bucks a piece at the very least. So it's five, ten, fifteen. Ah, oh, this is at least twenty bucks. Um, I showed this. This is like that Austrian glass um, jewelry, and it shows little birds and flowers. Really nice piece. And um, everything here, I believe, is gold. And one thing, this says gold right on the back, right? 14 carat. And do I have two of those or just the one? I just have one. Uh, let's see. Does this say anything on the back? I don't see it, but just how soft it is. You know what? Let me do this real quick. This is not to guarantee that any of this stuff is gold. But it could be gold. And, and then these are probably gold too. So I got a teeny little pile of gold. Say like each piece of gold is worth five bucks. I, you know, I don't really know. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, maybe thirty or so dollars worth of gold right there. So not bad. Um, and you did get to see that box with me. Anyway, uh, this stuff is after that. I think I'm out of here. Uh, goodbye. Clothes, just some clothes and some free stuff I got, which normally I don't get anything for free, but uh, whatever. Kirkland jacket, it's either for my wife or my daughter. Um, a lovely top, wife or daughter, I don't know. A skirt, wife or daughter. Um, this is the only thing I bought that would be for resale, and it's wet, so I have to let it dry because it was raining today, and a lot of stuff I bought had, was outside and got wet. But this is a uh, majestic. 19 says established 1926 a rangers ice hockey uh jacket and it's made in that fabric that is gore-tex i don't know it's good for if you want to sweat i paid like a dollar for that because i bought it with um these hats i bought it with this disney too this is also wet so i gotta let it dry but for a dollar i bought this hat and that so i'll probably stick that on ebay i don't know how much it'll be worth oh i bought this hat for a dollar for myself to wear all right um this was two dollars tessie talk not familiar with the doll but let's see if you pull this string on the back of her head she'll be like hello don't i look like chucky i'm going to kill you hey i think my phone's ringing anyway let me stop and i'll see who's calling me <sighs> Did somebody call me? I don't know. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Tessie talk. It was two bucks. I don't know how much it's worth. This stuff was free. Free. I went to the sale and the lady's like, all the stuff plushy toys are free. So I'm like, seriously? Okay. So I took this. This is a Macy's big Snoopy doll. I'm not sure of the value. Um, it might be getting a little bit of run from the red, but I have to leave it in the car to dry. Um, oh, this was, no, nah, actually I lied. This I paid a dollar for. And you think this would be worth a lot? And some people have them online listed for over a hundred, but I think it's worth like 30 bucks. So I'm probably just going to put it on, uh, take it to flea market, try and get like 10. Because who cares? Let's stick that online. Better. So anyway, free stuff. Big old Snoopy doll. Care Bear. I think this is a uh, gunned. No, this is like a Boyd's Bear Bunny. This one's gun, says gun right on. It's a penguin. Uh, this is Boyd's Bear. You can see how the tag got all wet. I'm just going to let it dry, you know? And did I say Boyd's? Is it Boyd? Who cares? Um, this was free too. And this is um, Dave and Buster's. It's, it's like a teddy bear, you know? Another Boyd's Bear. I uh, already did her. And another Boyd's Bear. I got about eight of these stuffed toys, plushies, for free. I don't know. I figure I'll get like maybe ten for the big Snoopy. It all depends. If it's worth a lot online, it's got to be worth like 50 bucks online. If it's only worth like 20 or 30, I'll just sell it at the flea market. But the other bears, five bucks each. So seven times five, 35. I got at least 40, 50 bucks worth of free stuff right here. Not bad. Not bad deal. All right. <clears throat> I'm on a roll. And I think I'm going to finish up here. And the jewelry, I'll, I'll shoot this. It will it will not be in sequence because I'll do that, this, and then show this last. So I'll do shout-outs after. Actually, let me just do shout-outs now. Shout-outs to all my friends, all my homies. I might be seeing Angry Steve tomorrow, so I'll say Angry Steve. Uh, video Gamer Daryl, uh, AJ a a a a ASAP Zonk, he might be there at Carney if we go. Whatever, if I don't see him tomorrow, I'll see him next week. Um, 
Nas of Nostalgic. Um, Blue Bus Dave, Thrift Hunter. Give him a shout out. And that's all I want to do for now. Um, let me finish up with this stuff. Bought a rock. Ugh, now, this is like a bookend. It was five bucks. That's a good deal. I was thinking of my showcase. I'll make it some cheap price, like, I don't know, $12. Who cares? And I bought the stone ashtray. It was only a dollar. And it's not, I don't even know, it doesn't have to be an ashtray. It could just be a general bowl. So I'll stick it in my showcase for like $12 or some dumb cheap price. This is Namaji Pottery. I have had this bunch of uh, stuff a bunch of times. It's actually become more desirable as of late. I need to clean it up. And I think I can stick it in my showcase for 20 bucks. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you want to see me or check with me first, I may be at Carney t tomorrow. If not, whatever. You know. Anyway, um, goodbye.